Is it true, Mike, that you used to uh, train by pushing your Jeep yes. at the practice fields at Purdue? Uphill. Jesus no Christ. Christ. In the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Uphill in the snow. Would there be anybody? Cheerleaders sitting? in the it, G, all the cheerleaders in the Jeep. Would somebody be yes. in the driver's seat? Right yeah. So uh, Jamie Washell, my defensive lineman. So we after leg day we'd go back. So after, the, wait, after, after leg, leg day, day you'd, yeah, you'd push your Jeep. Yeah. So there was a the parking lot that was uh, for the band, right? Uh -huh. It was all uh, marked out, painted the parking lot. Band camp. It's, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. For uh, uh, field, you know, hundred yards field and. And it actually had a little slope going and going one way. So he would get in. We would turn up like Metallica, Led Zeppelin, whatever, Just and freaking get after it, right? And push it, push all the way up. All right. Next person would turn around, and we'd just switch off and keep on doing it. <laughs> so, I mean, that's that's wow. a stereotype for a fullback, but I fucking love it. Yeah, no, I love it. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's the truth. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you did you also train with tires? I read something about you like. What did you so do with tires? I actually started pushing a pushing um, a station wagon in um, in, in high school. Mm -hmm. So that's where it started from. And then I had the Jeep when I went to college. But we'd actually have a down the cornfields we're at everything, and then all of a sudden there's cornfields. So we actually used to go from telephone pole to telephone pole pushing it. And then when we was uh, when I was in um, high school, I used to have tires and run 40 yard dashes in my yard and, and I have a, like just a strip of no grass because that's where the tires were every day. Jesus. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, what, what about, about yeah. yeah, what about you, Lo? What, what did you do to train? You know what, I, me, I just picked up pigs and bucked hay and you know, <laughs> I'm from a country boy. I'm, yeah, I'm from the farm. I'm from a town called Lemoore, California. You, pick, you just picked up pigs, <laughs> picked them up, yeah, put them down. I, yeah, I ate pig, a lot of pig balls, ate a lot of pig nuts. <laughs> mountain, mountain, there you there you okay. yeah. mountain, mountain oysters. When you, you get a chance to come uh, out there, you come out to, you come out to Central Valley down there to Leemore, California. Uh -huh. I'll take you out there to the farm. I've Pe eaten a couple nuts. Yeah, I've had, had some Rocky Mountain oysters. Yeah, right, yeah. So you cut them, you throw a little oil in there, and you, you make sure you clip them. Make sure you put a little little kind of rubber rubber band for them to bleed, bleed out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I'm yeah. telling you how you do it. Them. <laughs> and, them absolutely. So and, yeah. So I so you'd have to and then we'd give them the shot. So you had to grab these pigs and wrestle them. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm wrestling pigs. I had to get up every morning at, believe it or not, 4.30 every morning. You know he's an all-American wrestler, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, beat I pigs. Have down. He wrestled the sumo wrestler. Yeah. And beat them. Milk, milk cows. I had to do it all. But I'm a buck hay. You get, have to get that hook. Boom, boom. You don't use your back because you blow your back out. So I, I, every day I'd run for 150 yards, 16 tackles a game average. And, and and then I have to get up the next morning. My dad, it's on Saturday. My dad say, "Rise and shine." Those pigs don't care how many yards you ran for today, boy. Get up, let's go. Those pigs need picking up. Yeah, absolutely. Like what, what for? What reason were you picking up the pigs? Because if you have to give them shots, you got to move them to different pins. They got to monitor. Just transport just moving pigs around. Absolutely, I like, I like it. Yeah, and, and calves, like, calves. You know that you got to when, when the mom when the babies when the moms have the babies, uh -huh. you got to get the calves out because it's cold. They'll freeze outside, mm. so you got to bring them in and put them in a little stall and give them milk. So you're doing a lot of. Uh, I'll listen, tell you, listen, I'd, listen. Go to, I'd go to school he smelling like pig shit. He just read this on the internet. He just read this on the internet.